Mixopapillary ependymum of the spinal cord is a very rare tumor but it is very commonly seen in teenage children. The diagnosis is devastating for the parents as it causes weakness of both the lower limbs in the children. But the good news is with the modern microsurgical techniques in majority of the cases the tumor can be safely removed. In this video learn everything about mixopapillary ependymoma of the conus spinal cord welcome to this presentation on mixopapillary ependymoma of conus my name is dr kalyan bommakanti and i am a neurosurgeon and spine surgeon from hyderabad india what is mixopapillary ependymoma mixopapillary ependymoma is a type of tumor that develops in the spinal cord it is a rare form of ependymoma which is a type of tumor that originates from the cells that line the ventricles of the brain and the central canal of the spinal cord it is usually slow growing and benign meaning it is not cancerous however it can cause significant problem if it grows if it grows large enough or presses on the surrounding nerves what is conus the conus is the lowest part of the spinal cord Mixopapillary ependymoma most commonly occurs in the conus region hence the name mixopapillary ependymoma of conus symptoms symptoms can vary depending on the size and location of the tumor back pain leg pain or weakness numbness or tingling in the legs or feet problems with bladder or bowel control are the common symptoms If you experience any of these symptoms it is important to see a doctor for an evaluation. Diagnosis is can be difficult as the symptoms can mimic those of other spinal cord disorders. Diagnosis usually involves a combination of imaging tests such as an MRI scan or a CT scan and biopsy to confirm the presence of the tumor and also to determine its type and grade the treatment of mixopapillary ependymoma usually involves surgical removal of the tumor in some cases radiation therapy may also be used to help reduce the risk of recurrence your doctor will determine the best course of treatment based on the size location and grade of the tumor as well as your overall health and medical history the surgery for mixopapillary ependymoma of conus is typically performed by a neurosurgeon the goal of surgery is to remove as much of the tumor as possible without damaging the surrounding nerves and tissues and depending on the location of this and size of the tumor the surgery may be performed through an open approach or minimally invasive approach the recovery from surgery can vary depending on the extent of the surgery and individual factors in general most patients can expect to stay in the hospital for a few days after surgery and may require additional rehabilitation or physical therapy to regain strength and function the prognosis is generally good with a very low risk of recurrence or metastasis However, regular follow-up appointments with your doctor are important to monitor for any signs of recurrence or new tumor growth. Thank you for joining us for the presentation on mixopapillary ependymoma. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Thank you.